Welcome learners, uh, we continue with the topic differentiation, that is mathematics 44. And uh, in today's lesson, we are going to look at stationary points, and uh, we are going to give an example of stationary points. Stationary points include turning points, the turning points can be maximum points or minimum points, and uh, we have points of inflection. And uh, the concept you are supposed to know under stationary point is that the gradient function, which is a dy over dx, is equal to zero. At stationary points, dy over dx is equal to zero. We will start with the turning points. Under turning points, we will start with the minimum point. And uh, we say that at minimum point, dy over dx is zero, and the gradient changes from negative through zero to positive. And an example is the curve. The curve. That is the curve. This is your minimum point. In the second part, we're going to look at is the maximum point. And at the maximum point, still dy over dx is equal to 0. But the gradient changes from positive through 0 to negative. And the example of the curve looks like this. That is your curve. This is your maximum point. So we are going to look at a question, uh, an example of a question, uh, so that we can elaborate on the concept. The question says, uh, calculate the turning points of the function y is equal to x cubed minus 3x, and state the nature, hence sketch the curve. So you are told y is equal to x cubed minus 3x. So we are going to differentiate the curve. That is dy differentiate y with respect to x. dy over dx is equal to, you multiply 1 by 3, that is 3x, and you subtract the power from 1, that is 3x squared minus 1 times 3, that is 3, and x has a power of 1, subtract 1, that is a power of 0. So it is 3x squared minus 3. Now that is your gradient function. But we say that at turning points, dy over dx is equal to 0. So we say 3x squared minus 3 is equal to 0. So if we take negative 3 to the other side, it will be positive. That will be 3x squared is equal to 3. Divide 3 by both sides. 3 cancels out 3. So x squared is equal to 1. So x is equal to the square root of 1. So x can either be positive 1 or x is equal to negative 1. So we're going to look at when x is positive 1, then you substitute it in the first equation. That is the equation of the curve. So y is equal to x cubed minus 3x. Substitute x positive, the first value of x, that is positive 1. So y is equal to 1 cubed minus 3, 1. So 1 cubed is 1 minus 3 times 1 is 3. So 1 minus 3, y is equal to, y is equal to negative 2. So the first turning point, turning point number 1, will be 1 negative 2. The second turning point will be, you use the value of x, the second value of x, which is negative 1. The equation is y is equal to x cubed minus 3x. So you say, uh, you substitute the value of negative uh, the x, which is negative 1. So y is equal to negative 1 cubed minus 3 into brackets negative 1. So negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Then uh, negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3, which gives you 2. That is the value. So the second turning point is neg that is positive 2. The second turning point is uh, negative 1, 2. That is the second turning point. From there, you need to use today that the, we have solved the first part of the question. That is, we are find, we have found the turning points. Now we need to find the nature of the turning points. To find the nature of the turning points, you use the second derivative. So when you're using the second derivative, you know to, you need to know that 
when the second derivative is a positive, the point is a minimum, and when the second derivative is a negative, the point is a maximum. Okay, I will show you what I mean by the second derivative. I use, the, I differentiate the function dy over dx to get the second derivative. So I say dy2 all over dx, d2x is equal to, I differentiate the gradient function to get the second derivative. So I say 3 times 2, that is 6x. This has a power of 2. I'm, I subtract 1, that is 1. So that is 6x, and this is a constant. So it, it is a 0, so it is 6x, so that is the second derivative. Once you have the second derivative, you know that the, po the first point was 1, negative 2, and the second point was negative 1, 2, that is your turning points. So to determine the nature, you, you substitute the value of x into the second derivative. It becomes, if it becomes a positive number, if the resultant becomes a positive number, then the point is a, is a minimum. And if it becomes a negative number, the point is a maximum. If we substitute this, it will be 6 times 1, which is a positive number. So this point will become a, a minimum. And if we substitute into this one, it becomes a, a negative 6. Then that is a negative 1 times 6, which is a negative 6. And that is a maximum point. After that, you are told to sketch the curve. That is the part, that part of the question. And you are sketching the curve. So if you are sketching the curve, you just draw your Cartesian, your y-axis, and this is your x-axis. Suppose this is positive 1, this is positive 2. This is negative 1 and this is negative 2. So you have the points 1, negative 2. That is 1, negative 2. That's here. And you have the points negative 1, 2. Negative 1, 2. That's your point. So we say this point is a minimum. And that point is a maximum. So it looks something like that. If you sketch your curve, it will look like that. As you can see, we have seen that this is a maximum point. As you can see, negative 1, 2 has become a maximum point, And this is a minimum point. That will be the end of our lesson today. And in, the, in our next lesson, we are going to look at the application of differentiation in velocity and acceleration.